right? Sometimes a trigonometric ratio may not be re uh, represented by a numerical value, okay? It can be represented by a letter. Usually, we use English letters, and K is one of the most common, but you can meet other letters like M, like T, P, and so on. Now, in a case like that, you need to remember the following. Sine theta is Y over R. Cos theta is X over R. Tan theta is Y over X. And also your theorem of Pythagoras. So R squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared. That's your theorem of Pythagoras. Okay, so before you start answering questions involving trigonometric ratios represented by letters, you need to remember these four formulae. You need to remember those four. Okay? Before you go. Now, let's answer the, this question. So, we are told that tan 35 degrees is equal to K. Okay? Tan 35 is equal to k. Now, if I were to ask you, what will be the denominator of the k? Huh? It's a what? A 1. So, in this case now, we put the denominator which is a 1. Once we do that, we go back to this formula here. Okay? What this means is, y is going to be k and x is going to be 1. Therefore, x is going to be 1, and y is going to be k. I'm comparing this new equation now, this one here, with that. Okay? Where the 35 degrees is equivalent to theta, the k, which is the numerator, is equivalent to y, and the denominator, which was invisible, but we know it's a 1, will be equal to x. So, we need to calculate R. So, all questions on trigonometric ratios that are represented by letters or trigonometric values represented by letters, you need to know what is your X, what's your Y, what's your R before you start answering those questions. Okay? It's not complicated. Please remember that these equations that I wrote here, they are grade 10 equations. Please don't, don't forget that. They are not grade 11. These equations. They are grade what? 10. Okay? They are grade 10. Alright. So, R squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared. That's Pythagoras. So, R squared is going to be equal to 1 squared. Okay? Plus K squared. So, R will be the square root of 1 plus K squared. Okay? No, I need to calculate R before I carry on to answer those five questions. Now, once you have calculated either X, Y, or R, depending on the question you have. Okay, in this case, both we are given our trigonometric ratio is tan, which means we have to calculate R. If the trigonometric equation was in terms of sine, means we have to calculate X. If it was in terms of cos, we have to calculate y. I hope you are following me. Okay? It's not that complicated. Then the next thing now that you have to do before you start answering those questions is to draw a sketch, a right angled triangle. If you want, you can draw a Cartesian plane in the first quadrant and then you draw your triangle in that first quadrant. Okay? Fortunately, I've got some nice shapes here, but uh, I can't use those shapes, fortunately, because they are not right angle, but I can draw a nice right angle triangle. We have not started answering the question. We are preparing to answer A1. Please be aware that we haven't started answering any of these questions, because we need to know what is X, what is Y, what is R, then we need to draw a sketch. After that, 
Then we can start answering the questions. Are you following that? Okay, just to remind you, I hope you, know, you, 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 you are all aware that the horizontal distance, that's x, the vertical distance, that, that's y. Okay? So when I label this triangle, okay, that would be my 35 degrees, which is this angle here. Okay? Yeah. Then I need to know what is that one. It's complementary to 35. So that would be equal to 55. My R is the square root of 1 plus K squared. So I need to add that. My X, sorry, my Y is equal to K and my X is a 1. Okay, so I've drawn my diagram in the first quadrant. Okay, and I've labeled it using X, K, and R. And also, the reference angle here is going to be 35 degrees. Any question? Yes. Because, because if this angle here is 90, what will be the sum of this angle and that one? They are complementary. Okay? Are you following that? Right, any other question? Okay, if you don't have another question, then let's start answering those questions. Okay, please, everything I've done so far, it's part of preparation to answer the questions. You cannot answer those questions there without having, without knowing your X, your Y, and your R. Also, without having your, your, your diagram sketched. Now, sometimes this diagram is allocated a mark so you have to sketch it because it helps you to answer those questions. Are you following? Can I carry on? Huh? Do you see that answer those questions? All right. Now I'm going to be referring to my previous uh, page. So let's start with A1, tan 45, sorry, tan 145 degrees. Now, to get, please check this. The question says, if tan 35 is equal to K, write the following in terms of K. Okay, so all those trigonometric ratios, we are going to represent them by the letter K. All right, so tan 145, this 145 is obtuse. So we have to write it using an acute angle, which is what? 35 degrees. So this is the same as minus 35 degrees, which means my answer will be minus k. Okay? This one is straightforward because 135 is k. So it's very straightforward. Okay? Then... <laughs> Can you sit straight? First thing, sit straight. Okay? Time 35 is K. Time 145. If you use reduction, you, you get what? Which angle? Okay, this angle is in the second quadrant, isn't it? So which angle can you add 135 to get 180? 35. Is tan positive or negative in the second quadrant? Negative. That's why we have minus tan 35. And then the next question, Morgan, the next question, what is tan 35? Tan 35 is what? So we'll answer with minus K. Thank you for asking too. Thank you for asking. Alright? So let's carry on. Are you all following? 
Yes. Yeah, you must come out of this classroom at the end knowing what's happening. Okay? Yes. Then turn 215 degrees. Okay? Now 215, okay, it's in the third quadrant. So which angle can we add to 180 to get 215? It's what? 35. Now, is tan positive or negative in the third quadrant? So this will be equal to tan 35 degrees, which is equal to K. Are you following that? Right? Then, number three, we have tan minus 325 degrees. Now, who can remember what I said when you, if you get a negative angle? Add. You add what? 360. Add 360. So if you add 360 to this, you get tan minus 325 degrees plus 360 degrees. This will give you tan 35 degrees. Okay? And the answer will be what? Another K. Okay. Also, also, if I were to ask you, in which quadrant is minus thirty-five? What will be your answer? It will be in the what? First quadrant. It will be in the first quadrant. Tan is what? Positive. Remember your cast diagram. Remember your cast diagram. Okay. Then. Number four, we now have sine 35 degrees. Now, the trigonometric ratio has changed from tan now to what? To sine. Now, this is very simple. All we, we, we know already that sine is equal to y over what? Over r. Okay, we know that it's equal to y over r. Okay, so we go back here. What is y? y is k r is the square root of one plus k squared so our answer which will be equal to k divided by the square root of one plus k squared and then you are done yes yes for sine 35 we, we are done another way of doing it is to Go back to the diagram, then you use your chashot or sokatoa, right? So this is this is your reference angle. Sine is equal to opposite over what? Hypotenuse from grade 10. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So you still get the same answer. So just to add this, this is also equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? Please, you only do that if, 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 if you are sure that the angle there is acute. Like in this case, the angle is what? Acute. If it was not acute, you reduce it first to an acute angle. Then you carry on after that. Okay? Another way, can I show you another way? Okay, I'm going to show you. All right. Do you agree with me that sine 35 is also equal to cos 55? Co ratios. Am I right? Huh? Then you go to the diagram. If you go to the diagram, this side here becomes your opposite side. That will be the what? Adjacent, this is the hypotenuse. So cos 55 is going to be adjacent over what? Hypotenuse. And you still get the same result. So here you, you end up having adjacent over hypotenuse, which will give you k divided by square root of 1 plus k squared. Okay, so the same question can be done in two ways. Are you following? Okay, then the last one, the last one, 
cos 325. In which quadrant is 325? Fourth quadrant, right? So is cos positive or negative? So we are going to have cos 325 degrees. Which angle can we subtract from 360 to get 325? 35. So this is the same as cos 35 degrees. Well, if you go back to the diagram, our diagram here, right? So this will be adjacent. This becomes adjacent, which is also x over hypotenuse. Okay? Are you following? Huh? Can you answer me, please? So cos 35 is equal to x over r. Or you can say adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus k squared. So this is the same as x over r. So that will be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus k squared. And then you are done. You can also, you can also write this as cos 3, 2, 5 is equal to cos 35, which is also equal to sine 55. Okay? Can you look, please? Sine 55, you go back to the diagram. So this is the reference angle. So this is the opposite side, and that's the hypotenuse. So the opposite side is 1, and the hypotenuse is the square root. So this will be, well, you can write this 4 over h, and that should be 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus k squared. So the same question can be done in two ways. If you apply co-ratios with the other method, or just use the diagram with the first method. Yes.